Hey folks, welcome to Save Your Game Stream. My name is Nathan. It's been a while, but we're back here in Valiant Hearts The Great War. Let's get back into it. February 21st, 1916. Winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emil and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In Saint-Miel, food was scarce, disease was rife, and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light, a photo of his grandson, Victor, standing on both feet and learning to walk. Okay, so Emil is kind of the main character. He joined the army to find Carl, his son-in-law. And we befriended Freddy, who's an American guy. And then there's another player, uh, a nurse. And I can't remember the nurse's name. Like I said, it has been a long time. Oh, we want to write a letter, so we need an inkwell and a feather. Oh, let's go this way first. Do you have a trusty shovel? Hey, this guy's got ink. Oh, he needs a sock. Okay. I'm gonna do some trading. There's a collectible over here, I think. Yep. Playing cards. Card game. Days in the trenches were long to overcome their boredom and to overcome their boredom. Soldiers would play cards, read, write, and create objects from materials they found. The Germans played scat, the French manil, and the Allies brag or pontoon against others, amongst others. Okay, cool. Hey, there's a sock, but it's nasty. Does this guy want nasty socks? I bet he'll want us to clean it. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want your nasty sock. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Tobacco case. Tobacco case made from shell casing. Empty munitions were often recycled. Recycled. Some exploded shell materials were already aesthetically interesting. Otherwise, soldiers would rework their finds to create handy items. Tobacco was precious, so soldiers were eager to keep it dry. Many account from the trenches expressed soldiers' appreciation for the Christmas cigar, a special festive treat for the troops. Okay. Let's go clean this sock. New diary unlocked. June 15th, 1915. I'll never be able to thank Anna enough for saving Carl. Oh, Anna is the nurse. That's right. After the Zeppelin crash, knowing that he no longer at the front and that he's a POW has put my mind at rest. I'm so relieved he's safe from harm. I hope Marie is doing okay in San Miel, despite the German occupation. Freddy says, how much luck can a guy have? There's this huge cathedral here. Makes me think of you. They sent me back to the army. I'm not going to make my search. It's not going to make my search any easier. Anna said, I was so frightened when I saw the Zeppelin crash today. Fortunately, Father wasn't on board because the Baron had already taken him away by aircraft. I managed to save Emil's son-in-law before the, they sent him to a POW camp. His legs were in a critical state. I'll be going with him to make sure he's all right. Yeah, so um, our father is like a German scientist that cr helped create the Zeppelin, I think. Oh, and she's got another one. This one. Another endless day for another life saved. There are so many lost. Yeah, I think we read that one. As he grows, Victor reminds me more and more of Carl. Not a day goes by without me thinking of him. 
The Germans are requisitioning all our crops. There must be f there must be food shortages in Germany. I managed to hide some for next winter. I can't wait for this stupid war to end. All right. Hey, can we put our sock in here? <laughs> no, they don't like that. <laughs> can you imagine? Dirty sock water. Clean your plate with. What's this? Feeding soldiers at the front. Supplying millions of men at the front with enough food was a logistical nightmare. The diet was mainly composed of bread, rice, soup, and sometimes meat and dried vegetables. Food parcels from home were ambrosia, or sometimes, oop, I jumped one, were, oh yeah, I didn't. Food parcels from home were ambrosia for the troops. British soldiers had a ration of a pint of wine and a third of a pint of rum every day. One of soldiers' fatigue duties was to go behind the lines with containers to fetch their company's rations. Sometimes food did not reach the front line and infantrymen could go without food and drink for several days. 18 months later, in over 18 months of combat, the front barely moved as each side dug in and tried to claw back enemy's positions. The war of attrition turned by 1915 into a bloodiest war and civilians became hugely affected too. By late 1915, shortfalls in human and food resources began to make themselves felt while ammunition shortages were especially problematic. Barbed wire. Invented in 1874, barbed wire was already a common feature of trench protection in battle, but with the Great War's onus, oneness, onus? I don't know that word, on trench warfare, it became widespread. Thousands of tons of deposited were deposited in no man's land. Both sides thought, sought tools and strategies to overcome barbed wire, such as grappling irons and wire cutters. Intensive bombardment was deemed to be the most effective method, and the tactic became widespread. Dead soldiers Putrefying on barbed wire remains one of the enduring images of the war, a powerful symbol of its violence. Verdun, or Verdun. Triggered by the Germans at dawn, February 21st, in the aim of penetrating Allied lines, the battle eventually lasted 300 days. Wow. Some key positions changed hands several times before the French finally prevailed. The battle produced the highest concentration of casualties, with 600,000 killed over 61 square miles, i.e. one death for every 311 square yards. That's crazy. Military decorations. Britain had six war medals, the most issued of which were the British War Medal, the Victory Medal, the 1914-15 Star, and the 1914 Star. 6.6 .6 million British War Medals were issued, 5.7 million Victory Medals, 2 million 1914-15 Stars, and 365,000 1914 stars. A combination of the star, the victory medal, and war medal was fairly commonplace. Over 2.5 million trios, trios were issued and earned the nickname Pip Squeak and Wilfred. <laughs> That's awesome. After the popular cartoon characters in the Daily Mirror, a dog, a penguin, and a rabbit, respectively. Cool. Alright, let's see what this guy's to say. Have to get in line. Oh, he's following me? No. Hey, what's this? The dog is barking at this pigeon, I think. Grab this dish. What's he got? So he's got some bread now. Can we lure the pigeon down with it? What? 
Okay, so I can't get the bread while hey, what? I got the sock. Sock then. I have to get rid of the sock before I can take the bread? Oh, the pigeon's gonna leave us a feather, I bet. It's like it's not reading, he actually has the bread. Maybe I'll look, look at it. Yeah, I know. What? Let's try this. Let's try quitting and going back in. I feel like we glitched the bread or something. February 21st. We'll skip that, that morning, the arrival of the mail. We'll raid. skip that. Okay, so we're just kind of right at the beginning here. Let's go straight over to the bread. kind of doing weird things. Hey. Okay, now we have the bread. Okay. That's kind of strange. Maybe he'll leave us a feather. I feel like that soap is something we can pick up, but yeah. Hey. Are my collectibles still? Yeah, I still have all the collectibles. Look at all those pigeons. Yeah. And you don't want a nasty sock. Alright, we're kind of caught up now. We're back where we were. 